Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis and welcome back to Ireland. Well, kind of muncher, but well, I had a lot of patches coming in, so I got some new DLCs and well, we are going to continue where we left off. We kind of started a war, we finished some war, so we took two lands and now we're making just a little bit of money. Let's take a look at our army. We got a small army. We got. We should have some allies. Come on. We should have allies. Oh, that, this is the window I was looking for. Yeah, we got an ally also called Ormond. And I guess we were focusing on this little guy. But I also see some new icons, so this is kind of the new reform screen because we've got some DLCs. Do I want to do this? I've never done this before, so I got kind of reform the kingdom tier one. Replace reform, select one of the two option: autocrat, unjustified demand, or feudal. Well, I don't have any vessels, and I don't think I will have for a long time, so... Autocrate monarchs concentrate power in their hand. Well, I guess that's definitely the one that we are going to use. So, let's take a look at our mission, because we have to conquer a lot of things. Man, we still have a lot of conquer Ulster, we have to conquer we are going to do this one. Let's take a look at our diplomacy. Do we got a claim? We have no diplomats. We are improving with Portman. Yeah, that's kind of smart. And we're still trying to get one of the big guys on the mainland to join in. But, well... If I had a, clap, a claim, because I can't remember, but also let's check out our money situation. Because our army maintenance is totally low at the moment. How many repay loans we got? Three left. That's, that's just a little bit. We need to kill the unrest in Cork. Uh, the unrest is only at 30%. So. Let's, ooh, uh, speed is a little bit high, sorry for that. Trade League this bad, alright, good for you. I guess someone lost over here, yeah. Alright, well, I don't mind. Alright, let's uh, start up again. We needed to get some money. I still don't need these ships. Maybe we can sell them. But for now, my king, the province of uh, now consider part of our right. So this should give us some extra income and zero maintenance. So that's definitely a good one. All right. Now we can make that a core as well. And if you think I should do something differently, just tell me in the comment down below. Because I even I can make some mistakes. It's been a long time since I played this. Yeah, I played the first two episodes, but before that, it's been a damn long time. I've been playing Imperator Rome, also a Let's Play on this channel if you want to check that one out. And I kind of want to get in back into the Stellaris. Oh man, those games are kind of addictive. I want to get this Wars uh, exhaustion down, so the main focus will be... Yeah, this is this is good. We're now making some money. Why does... Pause the game. Why does Tarun... Oh my god, this is not good. You are going into war. Why would we do that? No decline. Why are you in war with him? Alright, 
let's go check out her our relationship with Argonis. It's not that good. We cannot do. They don't like her. Alright, so that's not going to do anything because he got too many diplomatic relationships. He's been screwing up a lot. Alright. Then we can take a look if we can get some claims because I don't like this. Scotland is way too much pushy. And I don't want to go to this stream. Thank you. Uh, let the diplomat come home. Come home to us. Thank you. Can we declare what war? Take capital? No, it's only a humiliation. I don't want that. I want to build a spy network. And that way we are going to be able to take him. I don't know how much money he has. And what are your allies, by the way? Because that's kind of important as well. You got no allies at all. That is definitely nice. Alright, let's get my army to the section. Let's build up the claim. Alright, pause, reduce, pause, I said. Get rid of Troublemaker. Oh, I kinda not want to. I kinda not want to. Yeah, we're going to do it that way. Uh, let's see, can we, can we, can we pay back some stuff? Got these were kinda low loans. And I kind of want to go into the next war without any loans. I don't like this. They are growing a bit too big. And maybe we are even have to go to war. Alright, pause the game. Uh, anybody who has had any sort of verbal interaction with the Norse can attest to the fact that Jesus. Are you a queen? Did I see or Noreen? Oh my my uh, Alright, didn't really read that right. She has a way with words. Where it sees a school to become diplomatic or not dealing with foreign ministers and delicate matters. Alright, so well I only got one option. Lower technology cost. Um, let's see yeah, this is what I was uh, hoping for. Getting more technology points, so we're kind of getting ahead of tech a lot. I kind of like that. I like that a lot uh, because we can do. Yeah, we're going for the men. Got some rebels. And let's make some more money. And repay another loan, I guess. Yeah, we can repay that one. Alright, the burgers uh, of an increasing important trade city. Which important trade city? Because you can call the city by its name. Uh, I kind of want to have... Reject the petition... Why would I not want this? I can do a lot of fun things with them being... Oh, I can't. I was hoping to ask for a contribution. But I guess I already asked that one. Uh, that's going to take some time before I can do that again. Alright. Alright, so we got enough uh, fabricated claim at connect all right so we got a claim and next thing i kind of want to do is move up your maintenance that's going to cost me can i declare a war anyway because i'm moving it up we have no diplomat to send so you are going to go back home then we can take the conquest and Orton will help and I should check if I even want that I don't think I need that you have a royal marriage but you don't have any alliances 
That's a fun thing. Alright. I guess he is also... Come on, pause the game, pause. Yeah, pause. Oh, that happens way too often. Alright, I, I kind of not want to use Orban because I think I'm going to need him for other wars. And we're going back in for another roar. Alright, this is going to be a quick war. And I wonder, because I really want to see if I can get this right, because this province got... What's the supply limit? The supply limit is pretty high. I wanted to test something because I only need three regiments to take this, so I kind of want to uh, remove, split them up, and get you out. And well, get this out as well. That way, we shouldn't have that much attrition. Oh, we, oh, they also had a fleet? I didn't notice that. Can I have a fleet out? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do I have a fleet? Yes, oh, I do have a fleet. Alright. Well, that wasn't what I meant to do, but... Oh, well. Oh, we can do another... We are technologically... The current penalty are bonuses from the cost of technology. Yeah. This is this is an annoying one, but well, I'm going to use those skill points for other things. I definitely don't want to run in behind with the rest, because that will definitely not be a good thing. So we set up a pretty good basic, but the biggest thing I'm worried about is this big fellow here. So let's take a look at Scotland, let's slow the time a little bit, and we can unpause the game and take a look at Scotland. Scotland has allies with France even. Alright, war by England. May declare war upon Scotland if the start of war by third party being influenced. But this is kind of interesting because you get two rivals and well I kind of need to become strong and we can always turn this around but first Scotland is going to be my major problem. have some money left. Uh, we have complaints from several dignitaries, alright, in our country that our new practices of our versus man. I don't want that to happen. I definitely don't well. I don't have that much prestige left. But ignore them. We almost got the fort. I wonder if I pull out one more troop. Well, we always... Yeah, that's a good thing. Alright, so now let's see. Uh, we kind of want to have this. Uh, we want to have your money. That's not much. But oh well, there's nothing else we can do. So this is another successful war. We're slowing, slowly growing. We need to pick another rival. We got Lannister, and I kind of want to have Sleek Row because, well, just because he's the strongest one. Let's, and this one is allied to Scotland, so he doesn't like me, so that's a good thing. And he has an ally with Lannister, so. 
Yeah, we're definitely going to pick him. We're definitely going to pick him. Our next rival will be Sligo. Alright. And... We definitely need more points to make this a core new arrival. Come on, need one more point. Just push it. Oh, and I definitely need to make some money again. So, next thing. Didn't I... Should be able to conquer all the provinces in the cognac area. That's kind of annoying because all of the cognac area is all this. Hmm. Kind of pity. And everything in the Munster area. I got the whole Munster area, but well, that doesn't give us any bonuses, I guess. No, it doesn't. That's quite annoying. Uh, yeah, it did take all the Munster areas. Oh, I still need that one. I need, still need the armor, but I kind of need his troops as well. And all the Lannister's port. That's a big space. So, for the moment we are going to focus on Sligro, because that's going to get us some bonuses, and the bonus will be... Uh, what is the price going to be? Muncher gained permanent plane on Muncher. Well, that doesn't do anything. That does. High King of Ireland. 20 years. That's that's definitely a good one. Irish American. We're definitely going for that one. But, well. Import potatoes. Oh my god. Rule Brittany, that's, this is the one we eventually want to go for. Invade England. Conquer Wales. Alright, there we got so much to do. Let uh, unpause the game, make my money go just the right way. Uh, maintenance. That way I am going to make some money, hopefully. Uh, repay the loan. I don't know how many loans I have, but interest is only 0 0.07. Guess the most important thing is making those scores because that way I am going to get some more money. But for now, we're not doing that bad. It's kind of pity. I guess we should improve with England. Why are you so mad at me? Why, man? Why? Improve relationship. Let's first go, go to... Let's improve the relationship. Because I don't have any foreign allies. At least, I do not. And... Let's see my own allies. I only got Orban. And, well... Orban will... Be fooled sometime. I don't have anything here. We, you got with Lannister, but I don't think if I go to war, yeah, he can't call him in. All right, so I definitely want to do this, but for now, let's see if we can repay another loan. Thank you. Then we got only two loans left. And we should definitely make some money soon. Fort maintenance is how many forts do we have? Because I shouldn't be paying that much for fort maintenance. Only zero. Yeah, that'll be my main fort. Uh, well, we can do that as well. And we could improve our military as well. Promote settlement grow, you have no colonists, alright. Maximum manpower because, well, we are kind of ahead of technology. So, well, I can do that. Because, well, we can still go for... Fun things. Grab 
Monopoly, no. That wasn't what I expected to do, but I was going to get some money, not pay them. Alright, let's speed up. We're going to improve our relationship there, and we are going to build another spy network. What a, what a surprise. Get our main army to get her again. You guys, I wonder. No, we got no straight. So it's a clear entrance to that land of Sidro. And we got a little bit of revelry. And we're making some money again. It ain't much, but it's something. So, well. That's definitely something. Yeah, we're not doing bad. Let's take a look at the world. What's the world doing? Our truce has expired, but they got an alliance with England, so I kind of need to wait until they are at war. And they're also in a trade league, but that trade league is not going to be able to help them at all. The most important thing is their alliance with Scotland, because when I declare war with them, they will definitely go attack us. Alright. Let's take a look at the rest of the world. We got Raisin is still alive. Oh my god, Kassan is totally being destroyed and perm. Oh my god. What happened here? Oh, you are... Oh, you, you're a bezel. Permanent's going big. Definitely big. And I guess... Kenichi is having some troubles again. Alright. We're slowly getting the money to... Do some nice things. And... Alright, let's get ourselves a claim. I recreate a claim and I kind of want to get it on Sligak. Alright, let's take a look. Spy detection rifle, this multiplier and... Alright, let's get this one back. Just because I want to see and check some things. And it's beginning of the month, so that way I can still use it without losing anything. Probably five. So if I declare war, the biggest problem is this general. And I wonder if this, this could go terribly wrong. But I really need to do it. Take. Oh, and I should have... Come on, come on, come on, join me! Oh my god, no, no! Horrible mistake, horrible mistake. We won? Pause the game, pause the game. What happened there? We won. Don't know what happened there, but we kind of won. I don't know where his army is now. that I have no idea what happened there because I really thought we would lose that one because my morale was totally broken all right the nobility was full subjuga subjugated during this age and the noble could and did strike independence alliance with foreign princes the crown of Europe might not have liked but we're normal hard pressed to prevent these kind of activities all right so we got kind of uh, I could lose hmm I could lose the ability they're pretty low at the moment 
problem is this would lead a lot of loyalty. Oh, well. Alright, this is going to cost us a lot of money again, but taking Ireland is all about losing money at the moment, because, well, that's kind of the way to go. How the hell did he do that? I have no idea what happened there. How? I have no idea what happened there. I had low terrain. That That's something that was sure. So I kind of want to wait before I go in again. I really need to regroup. His army. I don't know what has happened there. How could. Oh, wait a second. Is it a multiple front war? Is Sleeper in two wars? Yes, he is. Alright. So that is something. Just wait a little bit. Get Lannister out. Should be out anytime soon. I'm going to get a lot of money from him because. All right, let's see if we can get Lannister. Sleeper is low. Lannister is not. I guess this is now my biggest problem. If we can get Lannister out, then he will attack that army. Or I could just go for him, but then he will become strong. Oh, biggest problem. And that would give me a lot of war expansion. I kind of want to keep him alive for now and take more war score oh i'm not going to offer anything but let's see what we can do this is kind of it or i should take i can can i make him a vessel wait a second no that one He cannot and does not want to be a vassal. That's kind of annoying. But I just want you out of war. War reps, that's something you can do. Still trade, that's something you will do as well and give us some claims. So this is only with, uh, with Lander, sir. And that way... He is out of the war, and I kind of hope that his main army will come back once they take taken this. How long is this going to take? It's almost done. So let's just wait up a little bit because... No, I don't want you. The Levy, it's time. In time, many of the everyday occurrences in life are king. Alright. It's a lot of story, but it's kind of for getting the prestige. But it's costing us a lot of money. But I kind of need it. But I don't want the negative text modifier. So that's kind of annoying. I guess we have to take the negative text modifier. 
All right, now let's see. If you're going to still made it. That's kind of annoying that you... Can we trigger you in going back? Oh man, this is kind of annoying. Alright, so this is not... Can we take that one? Or you can become a vessel of me, but he doesn't want that. Sleep so will we'll forgive now. I don't want that. Oh, wait a second. What happened? happened it became part of England <sighs> my god that wasn't a good thing damn 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 all right well that was one waste of a war and I don't want you to be a vessel anymore, I just want to call your land. So now we got some crappy land in this section. Oh my god, this wasn't definitely not what I was expecting. But, well, we're going to have a pretty hard time fixing this because I need to take this part as well and then somehow play these two guys. Well against each other. In the meantime we should also look and try and conquer Norway but I kind of need an ally. I definitely need one big ally. So in the next episode we are going to focus on our new big ally. Is it going to be Scotland? Is it going to be England? We don't know yet but we are definitely going to focus on one of them or maybe France. Well we don't know. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and give you a comment down below and tell me what you think of the campaign so far what did i do wrong or have i already lost the lucky iron achievement that i want to get just tell it in the comment down below i really like to discuss with you guys see you all next time <laughs>